Yes. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Fine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How was your rehearsal? Oh, it was amazing. Yeah? It was breathtaking being up there. It, it's it's really something else. You like everything, the light, the stage? Yeah, yeah. It, everything is perfect. Yes. I heard um, that as a kid you listened to Eminem, Linkin Park, Metallica. Uh, by the way, I think at the moment ACDC is playing a concert in Syria uh, for 100,000 fans. Wow. <laughs> yes. But, um, I would say your song is mm, not so metallic. Not, yes, <laughs> tell us about yeah. it. Well, when you're a kid, you kind of experience yourself with just just experiment yourself. Sorry, with music and everything. And uh, I used to listen to everything really until I discovered my actual musical taste, which is now jazz, pop, blues, and like more of a relaxed. Yes. Type of music. And now, when you are now, you you are still listening to well, hard rock, or <laughs> maybe sometimes. You know, it depends on my day. It's like yeah. maybe one day I go Metallica today. Okay. Okay. Listen to that. Guns Roses. Guns N' Roses. Yeah, I love Guns N' Roses. <laughs> uh, you told us before that you have ten pairs of glasses. Yeah, give or take. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, but they're all have... different, though. It's, it's, ah, different. it's not the same pair. Do you have one? Pair for the stage? This is a... This is a fixed one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Don't lose it. I won't. Okay. I won't be able to see if I lose it, so... Okay. That's not very convenient. <laughs> okay, let's start with the questions. Yep. From the press. <laughs> yes, okay. This side. Thank you. For the microphone. Hello, John. Hello. Uh, Wade International. Good afternoon. Good evening, actually. Uh, I'm reading that you are moving to London to start recording a new album in September. Can you tell us what type of music it will be? Will it be like one thing I should have done? Um, we don't know yet. We're we're getting all these crazy ideas. Well, Mike, who's standing, who's sitting right there, and he did not come with me. Where's Mike? <laughs> with your hands. Uh, ah, hi, Mike. Is the composer of the song. Mike and I is everyone. And uh, we'll be working together, writing some songs. I'm not sure about the gender of the songs yet, but it's going to be some really lovely tunes. That's all I, I can say about the album. Thank you. Um, let's have okay. Yeah, hi, Alistair Birch from SBS Radio in Australia. Um, is it true that this song was recorded quite close to Vienna? And how did that come about? Um, no, it's not true. This this song has been recorded. You're talking about one thing you should know, right? Uh, it's, it's been out there for like eight months. We we wrote Mike wrote the song and uh, we competed for the Cyprus national final. So it's been out there for a really long time. Where was it recorded? Oh, it was recorded in London. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, uh, but, uh, yeah. The violin? No, the, the, yeah, the string, uh, strings on the song uh, were recorded in uh, Bratislava. Ah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, so you're right, you're right. Uh, I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> we have many questions from our online viewers. We are hashtag SV Eurovision yep. from Anastasia. Uh, which do you consider to be a strong characteristic of yours? Um, hmm, that's a good question. Um, I'd have to say that a strong characteristic of mine is uh, my glasses <laughs> and uh, my confidence. I rely on it a lot. I feel confident, yeah. Okay, fine. And uh, another, and, uh, Anastasia, when did you decide that you wanted music to be your career? Um, I, I wanted to do music my entire life and uh, I got people telling me that, no, you shouldn't do that, it's too risky, mm -hmm. become a musician, you're gonna be poor and everything, you know, but um, my parents and uh, my vocal coach and uh, mostly everyone that I had, that were close, close to me, was really supportive and so at the age of, I don't know, 10, I had the big talk with uh, my vocal coach and he was like, if you want to be a musician, then you got to work really hard. Things don't come to you like that. So I followed that 
since now, and uh, it seems to be working out. So <laughs> that's yeah. great. Yeah, I'm really happy. Okay. A question from Tasha. In one of your interviews, you have mentioned that the song was written especially for you. Yeah. Or was this song the only option, or did Mike write more songs for you to choose from? Oh no, this was the only option. It, it just it was just a chorus at the time, and he just played me that, and I went. That's it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. But we we wrote some other songs, but yeah. Yeah, not now. Not now. Not now. You gotta wait. Okay. <laughs> okay. You yeah. It's your turn. Okay. Hi, I'm Matt with ESUnited.com. My question is, I know or heard that you are a big fan of video games. Yep. So as a gamer, I'm a gamer myself, so I'm curious to find out what kind of games do you play? I heard World of Warcraft. Yeah, I I play World of Warcraft. Actually, I'm pretty good at it. Um, <laughs> uh, my guild, which is a team in World of Warcraft, was uh, rank 50 seven something in the entire world. Uh, yeah. um, it sounds exciting, but it's even more exciting when you find out how many people actually play the game. It's like 12 million people, and we were ranked 57, so I think it's quite an accomplishment. <laughs> yeah, it could be lies, but... And uh, another game I play is League of Legends. I really like that, I really enjoy it. When I when I play World of Warcraft, I'm really serious about it. But when I play the Legends, I'm really calm, having a good time, enjoying myself. And like, you know, Counter-Strike or FIFA or everything. I play everything, man. That's the life of a gamer, I guess. Thank you. Do you have hobbies um, besides uh, Yeah, I, I work out. Yeah. I go to the gym almost every day. Well, I try to go to the gym every day. <laughs> Sometimes it uh, doesn't work for me, but yeah, I, I work out, I play games, and I s study music, and yeah, writing songs, that's, that's all I do pretty much. Okay, okay, friends, one more question, yes, okay, Thank you very much for the microphone. Hello, it's John from the SCA site. Uh, first of all, welcome back to the contest Cyprus. We missed you last year. So Thank you. Back. Uh, the question is, uh, the national final for Cyprus was a very long process this year, last year as well, actually it started. Can you tell us a little bit about how that process was for you and how it felt when it finally ended and you were the winner? Oh, it, it was a long journey. Um, I think it was 60 acts, 60 songs, and... Uh, it came down to 20, then from 20 to 10, and then 10 to 6, and then we won the national final. Which was crazy, it was, it was actually crazy. It's like all these songs and all these artists, and you didn't know what to expect. You know, I, I believed in my song since day one, but when you apply for something that big, you don't know what to expect. Like, who are the other singers? What are the other songs? And uh, I was really, really pleased with the result we got. Obviously, we're here now. So, 